on YouTube. Running the Rock Fitness, Daniel Baldwin back here with another day of eating. Oh, right. It feels good to be back home. Vacation was so much fun, but it is good to be back on the grind. So, here we go. So, here we got for meal number one. Meal number one, drinking some water uh, with my omega and flaxseed and my vitamin. And today we have a Jimmy Dean Delight sandwich. Um, it's a croissant with egg, egg whites, and turkey sausage. And then a croissant. Those are really, really good. Here's the uh, box right here if you want to see what, uh, what it is. Uh, Jimmy Dean Delight's 280 calories per um, 16 grams of protein, uh, 13 grams of fat, and 30 grams of carbs, and 4 grams of fiber. So not too bad. But it's kind of high in fat so early in the day, so I will make sure that I watch my fat throughout the day to make sure it doesn't get too high. But these are delicious. These are really good. And then I also have a little scramble on the side. Um, I just made this with some um, egg beaters um, because I know there's some more fat in the um, in the sandwich. So um, egg beaters, mushrooms, onions, peppers, a little bit of turkey sausage in there too. Um, there is 18 grams of fat in this entire thing, but there is 30 grams of protein and about 520 calories. So here's meal number one. Gonna down this, and then I'll show you what I have for the next meal. So back on the gym grind, and it feels awesome. Feels really, really good. Um, so I'm enjoying a nice day off here. Well, nice day off from my 9 to 5. Just had to answer a couple emails today, and um, just um, did a new workout program for a new client. Um, just finished that after I ate my first meal, so I'm gonna go to the store so I can bulk cook a uh, majority of my meals for today and tomorrow And then I'm gonna come back have my pre-workout meal while I'm while I'm making my meals for the next couple days and uh, Then I'm gonna hit the gym um, and also have some new uh, workout videos explaining my new training split um, It's gonna be a five uh, basically five uh, different videos one body part each video um, so I'm going to show you guys exactly what the new split is. So I'm going to go to the store, come back, and I'll show you what I have. Back home so now, just got back from the store, um, show you what I got from the store. So I spent under $20 and I got all this stuff, so, um, actually sorry, I lied, $22.50, so I spent a little over 20 bucks. But I got a bunch of meals, so I got two, um, bags of chicken breasts, there are four chicken breasts in each bag. I got two of those, so I'm gonna pre-cook, I'm gonna grill these, I'll show you how I marinate them. Um, then I got some steamers, I got some cut green beans, some steamed veggies, and also got some spring vegetables in there too, so. Um, chicken, vegetables, and then I also picked up some marinades. Um, this is Larry's uh, Herb and White Wine Marinade, awesome. These are a lifesaver flavoring your chicken. I mean, I don't really, I mean, I kind of guesstimate my macros and kind of, you know, make sure I'm consistently around the same numbers. If I need to increase it um, each day, I'll kind of um, analyze my body and my physique and then go off of that. Um, but these are really awesome because um, there's only, in one serving, there's 15 calories, uh, three grams of carb, and one gram of sugar. Um, and I don't season the crap out of them. I give it just enough to make sure that the chicken has enough flavor. So these taste awesome. Urban white wine, that one's really good. And I've never tried this one, but I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, Santa Fe, sorry about the glare, guys. Uh, Santa Fe uh, chili. Um, so it's basically just lime, um, garlic, and then also some uh, chili peppers in there too. Um, the macros are the same for this. Actually, no, it's lower carbs. Two grams of carbs as opposed to three. So. Yeah, so really, really uh, smart, easy ideas to flavor your chicken, because if I'm going to be eating chicken all the time, it has to taste good. I don't want it to taste bland. Um, so there's the marinades, there's the chicken, there's the vegetables. So this is going to be about maybe six to eight meals. Um, and then I also bulk cook my rice, too. Um, so I've got a big tub of rice. This is honestly probably about three days worth of rice for me. Because um, some people can just kind of just go through the carbs like, you know, like no other, but for me, my body's pretty sensitive to carbs, so I make sure to eat it in the first part of the day. You know, I'll start lowering my carbs um, around five or six o'clock, and it's not the same time for everybody else. Um, I say five or six o'clock for me because I start winding down um, towards the end of the day. I usually go to bed around midnight, so um, my last few meals I'll try to eliminate the carbs, but you know, don't be afraid of eating carbs late night. A lot of people just, that's just me and for me and my goals and what I'm doing right now. So, but don't afraid to, don't be afraid to eat carbs late at night. But what I do is I bulk cook the um, the rice, and then um, all it is is jasmine white rice, and then I take some cilantro, oregano, celery salt, a little bit of basil, add some lemon juice inside there too, 
and um, I take it easy on the celery salt. The celery salt I just add a little bit, but I add a lot of basil, a lot of oregano, and a lot of cilantro. And then I add a little bit of lemon juice in there too, and then put it in the fridge and heat it up. Tastes really, really good. So got to stay on track and prep is start of the is part of the game. I mean, if you have the prep down, you have a lot of it already there. So um, that's what I'm doing right now. So I'll show you what I have for my pre-workout meal, which I'm gonna have as I uh, cook all this up. So I'll let you know. What here. I have this next. one's a little bit simpler, a little bit simple meal, but it's basically two packets of sugar-free maple and brown sugar, which kind of doesn't make any sense. Sugar-free maple brown sugar. Um, Tastes really, really good. And what we're gonna do here is I got two packets there. And if you notice, it's a little bit runny. I wanna make sure it's a little bit runny. I don't like my oatmeal dried out. And the reason also I like it a little bit runny too is I'm gonna take um, this uh, cookies and cream whey protein. And I'm gonna take one scoop, which is 24 grams of protein. Add it inside. And mix it up. And this together with the maple and brown sugar, it gives it such an epic flavor. It's so good. So just mix it up. Mix is really easy as long as you make sure that your oatmeal is not dry. Like I said before, mix it all up. And it just instantly mixes like that. Doesn't look very good, but oh. Oh, if you had smell -o vision on the camera right now, you would be hungry. It's so good. So cookies and cream with maple and brown sugar, sugar-free oatmeal. Mix it up. This is going to be pre-workout meal. I'm going to work out in about an hour and show you how I marinate the chicken real quick while I'm, let's see here. Let me make sure I had it just right. Oh, so good. And for the chicken, I wash the chicken and I'm going to try the Santa Fe chili seasoning or Santa Fe chili marinade. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in a bowl and then let all the chicken soak in the marinade for about 30 minutes before I cook it. Make sure it soaks up all the flavor. So I'm going to put a little bit inside there. And then take the chicken. I made sure to wash the chicken too, by the way, in case anybody else cares. Or... Alright, so I put all the chicken. There's four chicken breasts in there right now. And then just pour a little bit more on top. And you can be excessive with the marinade when you're marinating it because when you take it out, not all the marinade is going to be on the chicken. You just want to make sure to soak it. So I'm going to put this in the fridge, let it soak for about 30 minutes, and then take it out, grill it, steam the vegetables, have my rice ready to go, and bam, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. So I'm going to eat this pre workout meal, hit the gym, cook the chicken, or blah, 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 blah. Pre-workout meal, cook the chicken, hit the gym, show you what I have for the next meal. for about 30 minutes in the fridge. So, I'm going to start it on the grill. Now, what I usually do is I start it on the grill here first, and it's a cast iron grill. And I like it because it has the little uh, grooves inside of it too. Um, but I'm going to grill it first, and then I'm going to finish it off in the oven to make sure that it because that, it just makes sure that the chicken's not dried out. Sometimes if you grill it and then you prep it or put it in the fridge, sometimes it just dries out and then when you heat it back up, it doesn't taste as good. So I find that if you grill it first, then bake it, then put it in the fridge, when you heat it back up, it tastes, I mean, it's I hate to use this word, but it's really moist, it's not dried out. Um, but yeah, that's usually how I do it. So, and the reason why I overdid it on the marinades is because they usually go like this, and then when you put it on the grill, there's not very much marinade on the chicken, so you don't overdo it. So just make sure the pan's nice and hot. Oh, it looks really good. There go. Put it all in there. So I'm going to grill it for probably about... I'd say probably about five minutes on each side, and then put it in the oven for about 15 minutes. So, I'm gonna cook that up, and I'll show you what Here the finished the product. Finished like. product. Oh, it looks really good. So, I'm gonna throw that in a Tupperware. Oh, it smells so good. 
There we go. Got the grill marks on there. Throw it into a Tupperware container. God, doesn't that look good? Looks so good. So there's four meals right there. Pop that back off. Put the bad boy in the fridge. Because this is what eliminates, this is where a lot of people, at least for, I can speak for myself, and I know a lot of people who do this too, but this is where the diet can come into play. I mean, here we go. Preparation is key. I mean, there's the two days worth of rice and a day's worth of the chicken. And right there, I mean, you're prepped and you stay ahead of the game. And then it's just a lot easier. I mean, a lot of people say, I don't want to put time and effort into it. I mean, this took, you know, most of the time was to cook it. It didn't take very long to prepare all this. So, I mean, just you just got to put like 30 minutes aside to prep your food and it doesn't take long. I mean, and then you season the rice so it doesn't taste bland. I mean, and the chicken's awesome. So you have the chicken, the rice, and then you're going to steam up these vegetables. And put that in there too. You have a great tasting meal for a couple days. And now, time for the gym. Post workout meal now. Just got done with the workout. Whew. All right. Well, I wanted to show you something a little different. Um, it's kind of similar to the videos that I've shown before, but um, instead of just doing the normal protein shake, creatine, and fruit, which is pretty obvious, and everybody kind of knows that, I thought I would do something a little different. So here we go. So, I'm going to do two Dan and Light and Fit Greek yogurts. There's 12 grams of protein in one of these and 80 calories. Good workout. I'm going to take two of those. Plus so already 24 grams of protein in just the Greek yogurt. And the reason I buy these ones is because they're low in sugar. There's only 7 grams of sugar and just have one and only 9 grams of carbs. Oh, so we got that, and then I have a 10 calorie fat free jello pudding. There's only 10 grams of carbs in one, they're sugar free and fat free. And if you put it in a treat like this, you can't even taste the difference. So take that, um, and the protein. I like to take two. Let's see here, actually just one scoop, so 24 grams right there, so now we got 28 grams of protein. Uh, whew. And then I also have some Ezekiel bread toasting in the oven right now, mix that all up. Just a big pudding, chocolate strawberry pudding treat, it's really really good. If you have the cookies and cream in there, it combines really well with the chocolate and the strawberry Greek yogurt. Just makes it a big dessert treat. Just show you, you don't always have to do the protein shake. I mean, even though I use whey protein, but I add it to some Greek yogurt. If you want to make it a little fluffier, like a little lighter dessert treat, you can also add some fat-free whipped cream. That's also really good too. Ezekiel toast is done. All right, two slices of Ezekiel bread. Um, cinnamon raisin, and I love it. So this is the Ezekiel bread that I'm using. Ezekiel bread, cinnamon raisin. Um, it's awesome. I mean, it's uh, complete protein. I mean, even the bread or even the protein in this bread is made from complete protein. So um, it's awesome. It's flourless. I mean, whole grain wheat bread. I mean, it's tastes really good too. So this is what I'm going to have for pre-workout. This is technically meal number three. There we go. And I'll see you for the next meal. Oh, forgot to add, actually. Also going to take creatine. Five grams of creatine. I'm not going to mix it in here. I just take five grams of creatine after my workout. Straight to the dome. Now I'm gonna eat this. Whew. Right here we See are. Meal video. number four. <laughs> meal number four is the prep chicken, the rice, and green beans. Uh, it's the stuff that I just cooked. That you go prepped in the prepped in the fridge, ready to go. Just heat it up, put it on a plate. So good. 
Got some water right here. This is meal number four. Uh, my wife's going to be home from work probably in about an hour and a half, two hours. And I'll probably be hungry then too. So when she gets home, we're going to go to the store, go pick something up for dinner. Um, that'll probably be the last meal of the night, but if it's not, you guys will know. So I will show you everything else I eat, but I'm going to down this right now. It's probably like an hour and a half after I got done working out. So I had the post-workout meal a couple hours later. Having this meal right here, a couple hours later, wife's going to get home, go to the store, one last meal. I'll show you what we're going to have. See you in the All next right, video. here we are, meal number five. Easy dinner. So this is a California pizza kitchen. It's barbecue chicken. And then we added um, a bunch of chicken on top. So actually the macros are actually surprisingly not bad for this pizza too. So it's basically just a chicken pizza. But uh, here's the box if anybody's curious um, which one it is. Barbecue chicken pizza. Um, per serving is 300 calories, uh, 16 grams of protein. Um, so actually not too bad. It's actually pretty low in fat too, surprisingly. And just adding a bunch of chicken on top to up the protein. Um, this is probably about, I'm guesstimating here, so it's not exact, but it's probably about 550 to 600 calories. Um, not going to eat the entire thing, obviously. Um, me and my wife are going to enjoy this. Probably have a little bit of leftovers. Um, but it is, I'm planning on having probably about a third of the pizza, so... Um, it's going to be about 450 calories and about 45 grams of protein. So super good, super easy. Barbecue chicken pizza, chop some more chicken on top, and there you go. Right, so it's Meal about number an five. hour after dinner. Still a little bit hungry, so I made a dessert. Chocolate caramel protein pudding. Tastes so good, and if you like chocolate and caramel, I mean, who doesn't like chocolate and caramel, right? So what it is, it is one of these uh, caramel macchiato, 80 calorie, Dana Light and Thick Greek yogurts. And if you haven't noticed, I'm already I'm obsessed with these, so I use these all the time. I love them. Different flavors you can incorporate into different things. So I love these. 80 calories, 12 grams of protein. Um, one of these sugar-free Jello packs, fat-free, sugar-free. Only five grams of carbs in one of these containers, so one of those, one of those, and only you only I only use a, uh, one serving of this, which is two tablespoons, and it's only three grams of carbs in one serving. And then I put in two servings of the lean chocolate fudge dessert BSN pudding, or chocolate fudge pudding flavor. So two scoops of that, one of this, one of that, one serving of this stir it up and you have like a pudding like consistency it's amazing so so good so 430 calories whoop, and let's see here 430 calories uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, 40 52, 52 grams of protein um, so a lot of protein and only about 20 grams of carbs so it's a perfect late night snack so um, late night snack or dessert so this is probably gonna be the last of what I have tonight so Thanks again for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you to everyone who took the time just to watch this video. I appreciate it. Till next time, happy gains.